morning, everyone. Thank you for joining the session. I really appreciate that. And um, in this session, I want to talk about document generation wizard. In SAP Business One, we have a document generation wizard. Document generation wizard allow you to create mass creation of documents. So for example, we want to create customer invoices. We have uh, many, many delivery documents on a daily basis. And then we want to create invoices for those open deliveries. We can do that. So it is a mass processing transaction. The, it is basically eight step process. And I will go through each of these steps. So let me log into SAP. And here, if you go to in the option of sales, we will have document generation visit. If you go to purchase, you'll find procurement confirmation visit as well. So this confirmation wizard is available in the sales side, <clears throat> available on purchase side. So this functionality is available in many, many different areas. So we will use in the sales side. So we go to sales. Now, the very first thing I will start with the open item list so open item list is a report and uh, in this report and uh, if you go to sales report and open item report and if you say deliveries then we can get all deliveries which are pending as of today so we see that i have a quite a few deliveries which are pending now if you want to create a custom invoice then obviously you have to create these deliveries one at a time. <clears throat> the simplest option could be that I get my open deliveries, then I click on these deliveries, and then from the delivery, copy to, and then I can create a customer invoice, AR invoice. So this is one option in which we can take each of the pending delivery and we can convert that delivery into the sales order. So the very first thing which is very useful is report, which is open item report. So you can run this report and from this report, you can basically create various documents as we want. But again, what happens is in this report, we are creating one document at a time. So if I have many, many documents in a day, it might take a lot of time. So if I have a 200 and 300 and 500 or many, many hundred of invoice, it can take time. And that is where um, this document come into the picture. So now from here, we go to document generation wizard. So this is a document generation wizard. The document generation wizard allow you to do the mass processing, <clears throat> converting these invoices in the mass. Then we go to next. Now here, there is something called parameter set. So I have a two parameter set, one to create AR invoice and another one is good to create delivery. So that basically means we can do predefined parameter set and we can use those parameters time and again. So now let us say I want to use AR invoice. So we have AR invoice. Then we go to next. Now here, target document. Target document means document which we want to create. So what document do you want to create? We want to create AR invoice. <clears throat> If I want to do draft, then I can post draft also. So I can create draft document also. 
And here we can define posting date, document date, you know, bill of supply, which is invoice document type, which uh, number series we want to use. Do you want to do any summary? So I selected no summary. I just want to get the complete detail, no summary. Exchange rate, do I want to get current exchange rate or do I want to get exchange rate from the base document? So exchange, is a, exchange rate today could be different than the exchange rate which is there when sales sort of was created. So I say use current. Then we put next. <clears throat> next basically means base document. Base document basically means source document. So if I'm creating AR invoice, then AR invoice I can create with reference to deliveries and um, and I can create from this date to this date, this date to this date. So I can select a range. So what I'm what I mean is I can select the date of the posting documents. So document one, document two, document one, document two. So I can create a selection date for all my open deliveries. Then I go to next. Now here we have a consolidation or no consolidation. Consolidation basically means that if I'm creating an AR invoice, do I want, let us say I have a one customer and for one customer or ship to address, I have multiple invoices, multiple deliveries. Do I want those deliveries to be combined or do I want those deliveries to be individual? Okay. So we can choose. I said, I don't want any consolidation. I want individual document. You have an option to choose consolidation. You have an option to choose no consolidation. Then we go next. Now here I have a, these are my customers. I have 18 customers. So I have selected all my customers by default. So these are all my customers which are there in the system by default. So this is a different customer codes, name of customer, and these are the control account, which is their backend reconciliation account, which is assigned. I can change this also because I have a predefined parameter. So all those coming automatically. So that basically means I don't need to do these parameter setting every time. We create parameter once and we can keep using those parameters again and again. Hit again, next. Missing data. So if data is missing, then what is the system's response to the missing data? So I say, ask for user confirmation. I want confirmation. I want uh, confirmation. I want confirmation. So I want confirmation before we move forward. And we go to next. Now here, save and execute. So we can say save, save parameters and execute. Save parameter and don't execute. So what I want to select, save parameter and execute. I go to next. System saying running this wizard will help with creation of number of documents. You cannot cancel this operation. Should you continue? So we have to say, yep. We can continue. Say yes. So now, what system has done? System has created multiple invoices. You see that here? Invoice number 690, 691, 692, 693, 694, 695, 696, 697. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight invoices has been created by the system in one processing. And these are the document number. You can check number also. One delivery, another delivery, another delivery. And we save it. Say yes, finish. And if I want to go back and check these invoices also, if I go to the previous record, we can see that this is a document number 697 created today, 622, which is today's date. This is another 
uh, you know, 696 is a sequence of 696, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2. Remember, 7 document is system created. So this is another document. This is another document. This is another document. This is another document. And this is another document. So all these different documents system has created. So it's very helpful. And uh, tool, if I go to uh, my uh, open items, and if I see the deliveries, and then I will see that here, that all those different deliveries which are there, they have gone. They are not appearing anymore. So with that, thank you very much and uh, for watching. I really appreciate. Thank you. Please take care. Bye.